Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how you can use iBoot ISO image as a booter for your Mac ISO image in virtual machines. For uh, I will use two virtual machines that is Oracle VM virtual box and VMware workstation. So if you are very new to this virtual machine uh, you might get confused about what are these things uh, you might have heard a uh, hacked version of mac 10.8 but uh, you might you might not aware about iboot uh, actually uh, i am not using a hacked version of mac so i am in very trouble i am not able to run it in even in the virtual box maybe due to some hardware incompatibility so I just gave a try for uh, iBoot and it gave me some success but I uh, still not able to run it so that is another thing I am making this this tutorial because uh, I haven't got any I haven't got any uh, t tutorial for this so let's move to the VMware workstation double click and we will create any new virtual machine you can add it uh, for older machines too I will show you how you can do that so I hope you are aware about the, about the steps of creating virtual machine according to your device so I will go to typical and I will choose the path this path here you can uh, change it change it anytime okay. do next and choose apple and choose according to your ISO image next and give any name and next uh, it is already available and choose according to yours and make sure you do not keep check this just uncheck it you can customize hardware according to yours but for this tutorial it is not so necessary go to finish okay now just uh, mouse over it and it will give you the path where this virtual machine exists the files exist so I will open my documents go to my documents virtual machine the path I gave this one and I will right click on this dot v vmx if this extension is not showing you can either uh, recognize it by the type virtual machine configuration or you can go to view options and go to view and uncheck this hide extension for non file types it will uh, show the extensions too so now right click on it and open with notepad now control F here you can search control F and uh, EIF type EIA mm, sorry type firmware here and it was EFI <laughs> and just remove this line so that we can use iboot uh, we can boot the virtual machine with the help of iboot iso now i have saved that and close that now power on this machine now here uh, you can read that but to keep the video short 
here you need to cancel it just click cancel and it will lo uh, load the iBoot now here click here on CD DVD IDE right click or just click go to setting now see in CD DVD you have to choose the Mac ISO which you want to install it so I am going to browse it and choose my ISO and click OK now here you have to click OK otherwise if you uh, click on cancel all the settings will be revert so click OK here and now as the as it is recommend to press the F5 I will click inside the machine and press F5 it should load you can see you can see it is just like a PC PC option now again if I click enter it will install like a normal PC but uh, I don't know what is the compatibility issue that's why the Mac is installing fully but after installing the first boot is not coming and I am not able to create account if you have a solution about it please give a comment for that I will be thankful for you for that okay now I am closing that power off now move to the another machine Oracle VM virtual box double click on it and create new type Mac and 64 bit according to your ISO or system click next cannot create Mac it is already there Mac to anything next and give the steps I hope you are familiar about that just to keep the video short I am stepping up fastly okay now here you have to uh, go to system and uncheck this EFI this is you have to uncheck it if you want to use the iBoot as a booter and it is recommended to keep check this and keep check this and in the display keep these checks for installing the Mac but it is still does not work and here go to M empty in storage and select this iBoot file it is already there it is the same iBoot that I have shown here and choose it click OK and you are ready select the machine and start it click OK you can see it is working as a normal boot like you are doing in the PC now change the disk with right click here and choose the Mac image if if it is not listed here you can choose from here and click open and to confirm right click here and you can see the Mac ISO is selected now as normal 
press F5 and press enter to install like a normal PC so I hope I have give something a clear tutorial about installing Mac in virtual machine with the help of iBoot so thanks for watching my video if you like my channel please subscribe for that have a good day